So I'm here to talk about why you aren't writing. Ever since I started, well, ever since I became a self-published author and talked to people about writing and what I do, I have gotten millions. Okay, so that's a slight exaggeration, but quite a few of the people I've talked to uh, after I've told my story or whatever start off with, oh, I wish I would, I wish I could write a book or I have a great idea for a book, but, and frankly, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that because at this point, I wouldn't need to hustle so hard with the marketing because <laughs> I have a lot of money. What comes after that but typically varies uh, across the board. Of course it would, right? Everybody's story is unique. Underneath it all, though, what I've found is that there are basically three main reasons why you aren't writing that book you've always dreamed about writing. But I'm here to talk about these reasons as well as tell you exactly how I can help you get past them and write your first or next book. So let's start. Reason number one that you aren't currently writing that book you've always dreamed of writing is because of writing myths. Now, I'm sure you've heard those horror stories about what it takes to write a book. For example, one of the myths that uh, I come across is that you have to do it in isolation. In other words, you have to sequester yourself away from the world, right? No distractions, no TV, no kids, no pets, no nothing, no life, no fun. Just you, a typewriter, because I'm saying how old I am, and your book. And you can't come out into the sunshine until that book is finished. Another common myth, that writer's block will ruin you. It's basically that fear that once you hit a stumbling block or once the words or inspiration or motivation or whatever uh, run out, then you're screwed. There's, there's just no more writing after that. And then lastly, there are no new ideas. And so because it's all been written before, everything you're putting down is just, it's just a repeat of something you've already heard or something that somebody else has already written, somebody else has already read. Reason number two that you aren't currently writing that book that you've always dreamed of writing, and this is the biggie, fear. Lots of different types of fears out there when it comes to writing and self-publishing a book. For example, you're afraid of rejection. If you write it, people aren't going to want to be bothered. They're going to tell you no. They're going to tell you, I wouldn't read that if you were the last writer on earth and this was the last book I could take to the desert island. You fear that you're not a good writer. You've got that inner critic standing there in uh, speaking loudly in your mind, telling you that you suck at writing and there's, there's no way you could write a book. You have a fear of doing it wrong. And I know a couple of people that suffer from perfectionism in this regard. They're worried that they won't write it the right way, as if there's a right and a wrong way to write a book. And lastly, a fear of being exposed. <laughs> Let's say, for example, the book idea that you have is an autobiography, or it's the story of your family's history. You're worried that the story you want to tell is going to leave you vulnerable, and that is a very scary feeling. Reason number three, that you aren't currently writing that book that you've always dreamed of writing, is, <laughs> truth be told, you honestly don't know where to begin. You have no earthly idea how to start writing a book. So comment below if any combination of those three reasons resonated with you. If any of those three uh, struck a nerve as to why you are not writing that book you said you wanted to write. And while you're doing that, take a listen. 
because I'm going to explain how the Simply Self-Published online course slash coaching group is going to help you overcome those three items. So let's do some myth busting. Writing does not have to be done sequestered away in a basically jail cell or tiny little room off in the middle of nowhere. You can actually put words to page in the midst of your chaotic life and simply self-published. I'm going to show you how to do that. How do I know how it can be done? Well, because I wrote self-published and sold my first four books as a single parent of a teenager with full-time job going to school for my master's full-time and with a small social life that involved a fairly reasonable amount of uh, club hopping, dancing, socializing, and so on. <laughs> so yes, it can be done. You do not need to put everything on hold and retreat from the world in order to get your book written. So that's number one. Simply self Publish is going to show you how to get your book written despite all of the really good shows coming on Netflix <laughs> this month. Second of all, let's talk about that fear. Having a coach who has overcome, is currently overcoming fears around rejection, around being good enough, and so on. I'll be able to give you, to share with you, a lot of the tips, tricks, tools, and things that I have used to get my books done and out there despite the fear. I'm not here to sell you some magic formula that's going to make the fear go away. In fact, I think having some amount of concern with how you're writing, how your writing is going to be perceived, is fairly healthy. It helps you, I believe, write to your best ability. What I'm here to do is coach you through the fear so that it doesn't become an obstacle, so that it doesn't stop the words from flowing onto the page. At the end of the program, you're going to end up with complete character and concept sheets. So you'll know your character, your concept, your themes inside and out. Next, you're going to end up with visual notes. So vivid, so you'll be able to describe it to your reader with the utmost clarity. We're going to have live writing sessions, which will result in you having your completed rough first draft. We're also going to have time to do a couple of critique sessions where you'll read a portion of your manuscript to the other participants and get their feedback. And what that's going to do is just help you refine your writing so that you're doing what you want to do with it, so that your thoughts and things are coming across. We're going to spend a session on putting together a rough marketing plan and launch calendar. And you're also going to end up with direct links to purchase your ISBN and register your book, uh, excuse me, register your copyright. What's included as well are one-on-one -on -one sessions that you can utilize throughout the course. And what that does is it gives you some additional time. That think of it, you know, as office hours, if you will. But it gives you additional time to ask questions and get any uh, outside help and accountability that you need from me your coach throughout this process. So that's the course, the coaching group in a nutshell, a hundred dollars. And between October and December, you're going to go from blank page to having everything you need to self publish your book by April, 2023. Stay tuned. I'll be talking more about the course for the rest of this month. And yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end it there. If you would, you know the routine, like, share, subscribe, comment, all the things, and I will see you in the next one.